Okay, here's a quick uh, Duracoat update. I have the box of Duracoat I've been working on the stock. There's a bipod I've been working on. This is that one that was on the AR. Kind of getting a little bit different colors. What happens when I freehand airbrush is when you get really close to the airbrush gun, it gets really shiny. You really don't want a lot of shininess to it. You don't want that gloss finish. You want kind of like what's on this AR here. It's not really shiny, it's a dull finish. What happens with the dirt coat when you spray a ways away, like when you're painting stuff like this, like these Magpul hand guards on here, it uh, looks good once you, you know, hold it back 10, 12 inches away, maybe even a little closer. Once you get real close, the finish gets shiny. So then what you have to do is like when you're airbrushing and you're doing freehand stuff, you have to get closer to it, well then it gets shiny. I don't know if you can see the shininess on here. I'm pretty sure you can. See it gets real glossy looking. Kind of freehanding a lot of this camo on this stock. So what I do is I get the flat clear. Once all of this is done, I just have a little more touch up. It's kind of a lot of tan. I'm going to add some more brown so this kind of darken the stock up a little bit. And then I will get the flat clear and clear over that and blend it all. Because the scope that I have here, this is a Cytron scope that goes in the 338. You can see how it's kind of dulled out. That's from that clear coat, dirt coat stuff I got on there. It was real shiny at first, and then I blended that and it dulled it out real nice. That's pretty much it. So I'll have this stock together. This was the black stock on that Hawa that I just had, and now it's just about ready to reassemble. There's some magazines down there they did. All these are the new multi-cam colors, and I'm almost, I'm almost there. There's a, some multi-cam BDUs right there, and there's a stock laying over the top of it. So I'm pretty close. Just got to get some more browns in there. And then it'll be pretty much done, and I'll show you the finished product once I get it all together. That's just a quick update on the Dura coating projects, and that's what I have so far.